Hey guys, this is John, Elite Gamers United. I want to jump right in tonight and talk about a relatively obscure PlayStation 1 title that I guarantee you most of you have not heard of. DBZ. Or as uh, you all have to know it now as Dead Ball Zone. We talked about this cute little title. Dead Ball Zone was a futuristic sports game that came out... I think it was 19, uh, what year was this? 1998 for the PlayStation 1, and um, I think the PC, I'm not sure. It was developed by Rage Software, if I'm correct. It, it's, it's quite a unique game, and there has not been anything like it since, with the exception of a game on Xbox, the OG Xbox called Death Row. But let's talk about D, uh, DBZ, Dead Ball Zone, for a minute. I want to start with the story. You play as one of, I think it's it's either eight or six teams, a bunch of misfits. There's teams like Voodoo, Soul, Vipers, uh, Killer Clowns. And uh, you basically play this futuristic game of somewhat like football. Uh, the dead ball, it's called the dead ball. Uh, the dead ball itself floats, and the players, two teams of eight, compete to race towards it in the middle, grab it, and uh, score in the other team's uh, laser net. Um, there's a goalie, there's forwards, there's defense, and then there's your centers. The game is very fast and fluid, which is where I'm going now, the animation, the graphics. It had very, very brilliant lighting effects. The light trail from the ball was very cool. The, uh, the effect when the ball hit the, uh, the out-of-bounds laser, uh, laser walls and bounced off back in, it would create a cool light ripple. And uh, when you scored a goal as well. Also, the lighting effects from uh, certain weapons and certain things in the environment. It was a well-lit game. And I think that was one of the selling points. If you On the back here, it's, uh, it mentions hyper-fast 3D light-sourced graphics. I think that's just a nice way and a selling way to say, hey, we got a lot of lighting effects here. The characters are a little blocky. They're, they're supposed to be tall, buff guys, and they all wear masks, most of them. Um, it's they're not bad looking. It, it's a little blocky, you know, for its time. But that was because they had to animate uh, very quickly, very fast, and keep the characters looking fastly animated and smooth. So it's understandable. The texture work on the environments is, is nice. Nothing to write home about. It's not terrible. The character textures are well done. You can easily differentiate between the two teams. The, uh, Like I said, the lighting is very well done in the arena on the characters. The sound is, is, is kind of where the game falters. The sound effects are cool. When you hear the guys scream, and we'll get to why they scream in a minute, the music is just, it, it's not good. It's low, humdrum, bassy tunes that don't really give any kick to the fast, uh, adrenaline-fueled battle brawl sport that this thing really is. Uh, it, it, the music is its not good. There's not much of it, but otherwise, the sound effects are okay. They could be a little, they could have been had a little more oomph to them, especially the chainsaws. That's It's a pathetic sounding chainsaw, but it looks very cool when you see it. The controls, I will say, are spot on. Absolutely spot on. The the passing and the, the tackling, the the attacking, is very easy. It's basically it's a four-button game, more or less. Um, you, uh, you can tackle your opponents. You can uh, jump, dive, throw, uh, throw the ball, pass. It, it's very simple. You um, have attack combos. Uh, I think the longest combo went up to like four or five button presses. But you can end up kicking the guy in the balls, which uh, makes him do like a pop-up like that and uh, does a lot of damage. Each team uh, is able to pick up explosives, uh, grenades, like a grenade or a bomb, chainsaws, and a ballistic-type weapon. I, I think it was a shotgun. But uh, you use those to level the playing field. You can eliminate players of the other team. 
You can change the aggression levels of your own players, which is uh, a nice touch. You, there is some tactical know-how needed here. If you want your forwards to, to be in striking position or go for uh, to score uh, from a, a pass from one of your defenders, you put them on aggression, aggressive. They'll fight, they'll attack as much as they can, and they'll always try to go for a, a shot on the goal. Th think of it as a hockey mentality with a football-type passing game and the finesse of basketball. How's that sound? I hope that sounds good. The game, uh, it has a campaign mode, so, you know, single-player campaign. It has multiplayer. It doesn't have any crazy world tourney. It's just beat the teams, get to the end, and win the championship. But I will say, it is a fun game when you have a friend over. Changing the tactics of your team, trying to eliminate the other team, hacking them with a chainsaw, hearing them scream. The blood does flow. It's not hyper-violent, but when you dig that chainsaw right down somebody's shoulders, believe me, the blood starts spraying up and landing on the ground. I'm trying to see if there's a picture of it. However, hold on, we got a picture on the back here of the guy getting kicked square in the balls. If you can see it right there. Boom! So, <laughs> of course, the guy show a guy getting railed in the nuts, which I think is, is pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, Dead Ball Zone, it, it's, it's a unique game. There's not, there's really no other game like it besides Death Throw, which I will cover one day on the original Xbox. The graphics are very nice. The sound sucks. The controls are liquid, fluid, beautiful, smooth, and spot on. The game, it is a lot of fun. Alone, just yourself, it, it can be kind of boring, you know. But when you have a friend over, it's something different. If you guys are into sports games and you're tired of playing Madden, you're tired of playing baseball, you're tired of playing basketball, and you want something different, and racing is just too fucking boring for you, get your PS1 out, grab a copy of Dead Ball Zone. It is definitely worth your time. It's probably cheap. I, I, I don't. I didn't look at eBay or price charting or any of the sources or any word of mouth or retro stores. I wouldn't imagine it being super expensive because I did used to see this game in every store when I was younger. And um, <laughs> so it should be easily obtainable. I am going to actually go on eBay after this video and check out and see what it's going for. Just because it's an uncommon, slightly rare game doesn't mean it was produced in low counts. Doesn't mean it's hard to obtain. Uh, another, I, I want to touch on, I, I keep forgetting to touch on this in my videos, I want to talk about replay value. Does the game have replay value with a friend? Yes, it does. It's always going to give you a good laugh. It's always going to provide a good hour or two of, some, of solid entertainment. And it might even cause a fight in real life. Uh, me and one of my friends when, I was, when we were kids, we were playing this. Um, we got into a couple arguments over it for some cheap shots. Like, oh, what are you, a pussy? Why, you got to use a chainsaw? You know, come on. You got to use a bomb? Why don't, you, why don't you play without using a weapon? And so arguments would escalate from that. I want to uh, just also add that I find it to be a very well put together game. I, I just wish it had a better soundtrack and the sound effects and the oomph. I wish it was there more. It's not. I don't recommend spending more than 20 bucks on this game. It, it really wouldn't seem worth it. The replay value, like I said, it's there, but it's not much. It's, good. it's entertainment in short spurts, spaced out far and wide. Unless you have a futuristic sports kick, then... There's no reason to go wrong. I absolutely enjoyed this game. I absolutely do recommend it. And don't let the box fool you. There's no uh, blowing people uh, limbs off. Explosions don't decapitate. Don't blow arms or legs off. So don't th the, the case makes it look more violent than it really is. But it'll catch your eye. With that being said, this is John, Elite Gamers United. I hope you enjoyed. And this is my first PS1 video tomorrow morning. I am uh, thinking about doing something from the NES library. If there's any recommendations, let me know. As long as I have it, I will be more than happy to review and talk about it. And also, I wanted to give you an update. I'm learning the uh, video uh, editing software, Adobe Premiere Rush, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe Premiere Rush. So I will be starting to edit these videos with gameplay integrated and uh, some, you know more stuff to, to make my videos different. But I think it's my personality that makes me stand out, all right? With that being said, everybody have a wonderful night.